What if I told you that your Jetson Orin Nano could become a super-powered AI machine without changing a single piece of hardware? Sounds amazing, right? Well, it's possible. With just a software update, your Jetson Orin Nano can be upgraded to the Jetson Orin Nano Super Developer Kit. But before we dive in, here's what you need to know. The hardware remains the same. The magic lies in the latest Jetpack software update, unlocking 1.7 times higher generative AI performance. 67 sparse tops, up from 40. 102 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth. A huge leap from 65 gigabytes per second. GPU clock speed boost from 635 megahertz to 1020 megahertz. And a CPU clock speed boost from 1.5 gigahertz to 1.7 gigahertz. With these upgrades, your Jetson Orin Nano becomes a powerhouse for AI tasks. From faster model inference to enhanced multitasking capabilities, Ready to take your device to the next level? Let's dive into the upgrade process. If your device is running Jetpack 6.0 or 6.1, enter this command to ensure max and performance mode is available after the upgrade. Then, reboot your system. Next, switch to max end mode from the taskbar or you can type this command on the terminal. With this simple command, you've successfully upgraded your Jetson Orin Nano to Jetson Orin Nano Super. But if your device is still running Jetpack 5 with UEFI firmware version 36.0 or an L4T version below 35.4, an update is required to unlock the latest features. Upgrading to Jetpack 5.1.3 is the first step. It brings your device to L4T version 35.5, laying the foundation for installing Jetpack 6X. Jetpack 6X introduces game-changing performance enhancements, including the powerful Max N mode, which significantly boosts your device's capabilities. Now let's verify your current firmware version. You have two options. If you already installed JTOP, you could check the Jetpack version under the All tab, or run this command in the terminal. As you can see here, the device is currently on L4T version 35.4. This means an update is required before we can proceed to unleash the full potential of your Jetson Orin Nano. Next, let's prepare for the upgrade. This step requires another computer, like a Windows PC or even a Raspberry Pi, to complete the flashing process. Now let's head over to the NVIDIA website and download the Jetpack 5.1.3 SD card image. The image size is 8.2 gigabytes, so downloading it might take a while depending on your internet speed. Once downloaded, open Bellina Etcher. If you haven't installed it, just head over to their website and download the software option relevant to your machine. The installation of the software itself is quite straightforward. Now Bellina Etcher is opened. Click on Flash from File and select the Jetpack 5.1.3 image file. Insert your SD card to the SD card slot reader on your laptop or you can opt for USB SD card reader. Click Select Target. Select the SD card, then click Flash. It will take around 10 minutes to complete the flashing. Once the flash is successful, you're ready for the next step. Insert the SD card into your Jetson Orin Nano, power it on, and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Now it's time to schedule the firmware update. Start by checking the status. Once that's good to go, reboot your device and let it work its magic. After the system restarts, Verify the update by confirming you've booted into Jetpack 5.1.3 with the latest firmware installed. Now, install the QSPI updater to prepare your device for Jetpack 6X using the following command, then reboot your device. Once you reboot, a progress bar will appear on the screen, indicating that the firmware update is in progress. When the update is complete, Power off your Jetson Orin Nano and prepare the SD card for Jetpack 6. Now let's download Jetpack 6.1 Rev 1, 
the latest version available at the time of this recording. Head to the NVIDIA website to grab the file. Keep in mind, it's a hefty 10.2 gigabytes. So depending on your internet speed, it might take a few minutes or even a couple of hours. Once the download is complete, fire up Belina Etcher. Select the downloaded image, choose a new SD card, and start the flashing process. This will take a few minutes to finish. When done, insert the freshly flashed SD card into your Jetson Orin Nano, power it on, and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. You're one step closer to unleashing the superpower of your device. Once you've booted into your newly installed Jetpack 6, you'll notice that Max N mode isn't automatically activated, unlike when using NVIDIA SDK Manager for flashing. But don't worry, we'll activate it manually to unlock the full power of your Jetson Orin Nano Super. Start by running this command in the terminal to enable Max N mode and reboot your device. After the reboot, you can switch to max N mode from the taskbar's power options or directly from the terminal. With this simple command, you've successfully transformed your Jetson Orin Nano into the Jetson Orin Nano Super. Now enjoy its boosted performance and dive into your AI projects like never before. Congratulations! Your Jetson Orin Nano is now officially upgraded to the Jetson Orin Nano Super. With its enhanced performance, faster CPU speeds, improved memory bandwidth, and more AI processing power, you're ready to tackle even more ambitious projects. With the Jetson Orin Nano Super, you're not just upgrading your hardware, you're unlocking the future of edge AI development. Now go ahead and make your vision a reality. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and visit Cytron.io for more amazing content and products. See you in the next video.